Hey, what's going on guys? It's B-Lab B. Sorry, I haven't, had, I haven't made a video in a minute. I've been really busy working and stuff. And um, But in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to um, like organize your beat, basically. So everything's not all or unorganized. And I'm going to be doing like a rough mix and basically just organizing all my um, patterns and stuff. So... Assuming you already know how to make a beat with a pattern. Um, the way I produce, I put every instrument in its own track. Um, every hi-hat has its own track. Like this hi-hat would be track three. And we'll name them all later in the video. This would be track four. Everything has its track. So in this video, we're just going to be... Um, naming it and organizing it so it looks more professional and it, it's a lot easier to deal with um so the first track we have um pattern one and that's on insert five so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot we're gonna left click insert five we're going to alt hold alt so you click Insert four now because it, it was five and now it's four because I moved it over. So you're going to alt and then left arrow. And that moves it to insert one. Now that's insert one. And we're going to name that. Um, see, this is FL Studio 12. So they have like a new naming system. So we'll name that lead. And we're gonna, let's not mess with the color. We'll just put like that as their symbol or whatever. That'll be the lead, right? So now, let's go to track, rename, lead. It's our lead. So now that's done with. We don't have to deal with that anymore. Let's, go, let's look at the next track. It's a bell. Insert 8. Click, remember? Left click it. Alt, left arrow. Let's move it right to insert 2. And this is just to organize everything, guys. I mean, this isn't necessary, but if you, I'm, I like my music organized when when I have it in order, because it, it just makes it makes things a lot easier. So we'll name that um, bell uh, icon, whatever. This this isn't necessary, but if you want to do it like this, you can. Uh, just, you can yeah. <laughs> bell. Um, and this is just a rough mix. I do this, uh, I do a rough mix and then I organize everything and then I do another mix, the final mix. Uh, so that's done. So we'll put that as, uh, and we got our hi-hats here. Let's find out where our hi-hats are. Hi-hats are insert five. Move those over to three. Um, symbols or clashes. Let's just put clashes. And then again, that's the clash. Alt, left arrow, moves it over. Um, kicks, we'll do those last. Snare. And then to move it up, uh, I wish there was an easier way to do this, but say you want to move the snare up to track five. Um, like I said, it should be alt, up arrow, but you, could, you have to left click it and then... Uh, Press U. See how it says move up? It's it's highlighting the U, so you could let or right click uh U to move the pattern up. So say you want to move these these up. You right click and then press U. It's kind of annoying, but that's the way that they made it. So it takes a while to get used to. Move these up. Um 
And again, that's right click U for up. And then if you want to move it down, it's D. So it's up or down. Um, and these are uh, these are our chants. everything over here move those up got to do the snare these are the snare right click chance got to eq that let's eq that really quick Get, get, gets rid of that low end. So it crashes now. So it's named as Crashes and Revs. Revs is, is in reverse. Move those up. Now I like to have those at the bottom. These are our 808s here. Yeah, boy. Tag. Is that over here? That's a crash. Everything organized. So if you want to mute the lead, you can mute the lead. If you want to mute the bell, we can mute the bell. If you want to mute the hi hats, you know, it just makes things a lot more organized. Uh, and it doesn't only do that. When you export, this is basically prepping your track for um, track outs. So if you if you want to release, your, if you want to send your track outs out to like a master to to your artist or whatever you want to do, um, to my beat my flash store. It has the option of putting your track outs on there. It just names them all. So when your artists get the track outs, this is what they're going to get. It's, it's going to look a lot more professional. Um, and, you know, it just makes everything more professional, basically. So it's just a very good tip that I learned over the years of producing that um, organization is really key to uh, to having that, um, let's say, you know, just it's, it's key. It's key to um, having a good quality recording, in my opinion. Some people do it differently. Some people don't even do any of this. Like Lex Luger, I was watching an interview on him. He just, he literally, he doesn't even mix his shit down. He just like <laughs> makes a beat. It's all unorganized and he releases it. And that's the way he works. But in my opinion, I think it's a lot more easier and more professional to do it this way. So um, what else am I going to cover here? I will be doing a video on my Nexus presets because people have been requesting that and like what presets I use and stuff like that. Oh, and let's just, okay, now that we're here, see this mess here? Let, let's organize this mess now. So we're going to go to Nexus and then again to, uh, to move that up, you just Alt 
up arrow. So let's name that um, lead. And this is optional too. It's just to organize everything. And what this does, you could just name it all. So it's all um, to delete things that, that you don't need and stuff like that. Like, see, all these I, I don't need. I just loaded them up there. So it's always good to keep organized. But, um, yeah, that's just basically. And, and if you want to. Um, export your track outs you could do that like anything on this uh, board here are your tracks so like when you export your so you go to export so you want to export your uh, track outs demo you would click wave and then split mixer tracks and what that does is that splits each and every individual track out um, so it would be the lead bell hi-hats all that stuff is going to be tracked out um, so that's what's really cool about it and if you don't want to do that you could just unclick it uh, so yeah that's how you um, prep your track for um, exporting track outs I hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to me um, and make sure to, if you want to leave a comment on, um, any suggestions, do that. Please give me a like and, uh, glad you enjoyed the video. Have a great